Rarely, rarely is someone actually carrying a knife on them, I don't think. But it's effective because it's sharp, so... It's an A tier. Is this just a stick? It looks like a, just a, like a kung fu, like, stick. <laughs> it's just a stick. Actually, stick is S tier. One of the greatest things ever made. This was ruled during the sticks and stone showdown I did with dimes. It was proven that stick is better than stone. So yeah, I, I still remember that stick is the reigning champ of all weapons. A fire extinguisher. <laughs> I mean, not really good because, again, it's only available in, in building, and if you know where it is, and it's heavy, so it's kind of crap, but it does a lot of heavy damage. A hammer, it handles well, does a lot of blunt damage. It's, it's, in, a, it's in your tool chest, like in the garage, maybe. But definitely better than fire extinguisher because it's lighter. Gun, best weapon. Bat, I love bats. I I actually want to buy a giant metal bat and just lean it against the wall or against my desk. And in case there's a knock on my door, I can just immediately grab my weapon and take care of business. Like you know, of course it could be like the pizza guy or whatever, but still. I don't want people knocking on my door. Uh, I don't know what these are. Are these like handcuffs or something? I'm not sure what these are. Rock. Rocks are kind of are counterintuitive because the best rocks are the bigger ones. But again, they're heavier and it's hard to carry around. So in terms of like a quick thing you can just pick up and chuck it at someone. Yeah, or if you can like premeditate where you can pick it up and hit someone without too much work. Good, so I say at least B tier. I'm guessing this is the thing like you you hold in between your fingers so you can like punch someone and then like jab them with it to poke them. Give them like a little poke. Uh, I say that's pretty good. Is that pepper spray? Oh yeah, pepper spray. Dollar loves his neighbors. Yep, I definitely do. I mean, they say, you know, one of the commandments, or, no, not commandments, one of the rules is to love thy neighbor. Pepper spray. Pretty good. I'm pretty sure I recount at least once the story of how I accidentally pepper sprayed myself. I may have said that story only once on stream. But it definitely does work because it hurts a lot. And it's easy, easy to carry around. Is that, is that a mace? Or like a... Like the stick with like the barbed ending? I've never even seen these before in real life, so... I, don't, I can't imagine anyone just carrying it around. It's an ore. <laughs> I mean, an ore is a stick, and sticks are the best. Yeah, I can't tell if there's like a mace or a thing, I don't know. Dog. They can be really good if you like if you train them to like bite the person like on the crotch. Pretty good there, they're they have great hearing and smell. Or like sense of smell. Some dogs do smell. Just like genetically. Especially like those like little rat dogs that look like rats. Like giant rats. The capybara dogs. They stink. But these like big ones are like... Big dogs are pretty good. But of course you have to, you know, train it. Maintain it. But still they're pretty effective. This is a sledgehammer. They're pretty heavy again. Some weapons are counterintuitive with their weight. They're a burden to actually carry and use. And I don't know who I don't know who just has a sledgehammer like next to their bed. I mean, the only thing I have is gonna is a bat, and I have a cane too. Because you know those are you can just easily pick up a bat, 
and then do some damage. But no one had no one just has a sledgehammer next to them. Unless you're like a psychopath. In terms of damage, it's great. It's brutally effective. But its weight brings it down to like the fire extinguisher level. Keys I guess they work in a similar fashion to this one to where you can put key the penis hole. I mean, you can just do that with this one. This would definitely hurt more because look, it changes sizes. So it would, ex it would expand and contract the urethra for additional pain. The keys are too linear. Um, yeah, keys. Yeah, you can, st you can stick the keys between the fingers and again, jab someone. And they're pretty handy because you always have your keys on you. So at least within the same vein, but not as powerful as this one. Nunchucks. Nunchucks are, I think, a disgrace to the idea of stick. The stick is the pure form, the ancient noble one. It works because it works. But some idiot had to break it in half, which weakens the effectiveness of the stick, and then put a chain on it, and then you swing it around, which only increases the chances of you hitting yourself. You, you've broken the weapon, which decreases effectiveness, which then requires you to become better at using it to not only hit the person, but not hit yourself. Nunchucks are stupid. Only Bruce Lee makes nunchucks look good. D tier. Bow and arrow, terrible. You have to carry a bow. You have to carry arrows. You have to carry a quiver. You have to have enough space to draw the arrow. And the reload time is forever, depending on if you're fast enough. Bow and arrow is terrible. Bruce Lee with nunchucks are more deadly than a mentally ill person with a firearm. Yeah, definitely. But still, only him. A normal person, a mentally ill person with nunchucks still can't do anything. Because they're most likely to just like swing it onto their wiener. Brass knuckles? I feel like I've held onto brass knuckles once in my life before. But of course I never used it. Legally. But uh, yeah, pretty good. Easy to carry. Do damage. You don't really know how. To, you don't really need to know how to punch. I guess just like put it on. Just try to throw a fist. Uh, yeah, these are really good in terms of convenience and damage. But I guess it still depends if you can actually throw a punch. A knife does the work for you. It's at least an A tier. And then a taser. It's definitely good for incapacitating someone. Neutralizing them. That's what I was looking for. Neutralize, not incapacitate. Uh, but yet you only got the one shot. You gotta shoot it right. If you don't, then at least you can throw it. So that one disadvantage does bring it down because a gun, you have multiple rounds. And it definitely hurts more. It's longer lasting pain. I also, I've seen footage of what the prongs of a taser, how it works into the body. And once the prongs hit the body, pulling it out is itself really painful. Like if you try to pull out the ends of a taser, it actually pulls the skin and a little bit of the like uh, flesh beneath it. It looks super horrific to pull it out and it hurts even more so. This is just if you want to really hurt someone and not just kill them. Yeah, there's self-defense tier list.